It's a very lonely struggle if you're an activist in a difficult country. You sometimes feel abandoned. You feel like you have no friends. You can lose hope. People can, you know, give in to despair. And by having a network like this, by bringing people together who are from the front lines, who are fighting for freedom and democracy, I think it tells them that they're not alone and it gives them hope. Back at the beginning when the NED was founded, we had a founding statement called the Statement of Principles and Objectives. And the last paragraph of that statement said that we were going to promote international cooperation. And what we meant by that was promoting broader and stronger networks, stronger coordination, building networks among activists and, and people supporting democracy based on shared values and common purpose. Over the last 13 years, democracy really has retreated. And yet the world movement still exists, and it still exists in a strong and vibrant way. We can look at the way we've used the world movement assemblies with the Democracy Courage tributes to honor some of the heroic activists around the world, starting with the Tiananmen Mothers Network, and then more recently the Rohingya activists, the photographers uh, in the Philippines who are taking pictures of people who have been murdered. Every awardee is at the center of the struggle for democracy from the front lines, whether it's Rafael Marques from Angola, whether it's Weiwei Nu, all of these people are, are central to uh, the struggle for democracy. They all have to be recognized. And the World Movement Assembly gives us the opportunity to highlight their struggles. We cannot eliminate evil from the world. There are going to be people that want to concentrate power, want to oppress people. It's very, very difficult. And building a democratic society where people show tolerance, where there are checks and balances, where people have rights, that is extremely difficult. So it's a long, long-term struggle. And to have something like the World Movement, which brings together frontline activists from around the world, to sort of be the cutting edge of a global effort to renew democracy, that is the most important thing we can do in the period ahead. Mm -hmm.